given question find out the applied force p required to start the wedge as shown in diagram the angle of friction for all surfaces of contact is 15 degree let us understand given question with the help of diagram there is applied force p on the wedge which is in contact with block with weight 99.9 newton one surface of wedge is inclined at an angle of 75 degree with horizontal we have to find out applied force p on the wedge so that the block will move we will first decide the motion of the wedge as well as block wedge will move in the direction of applied force p that is in the downward direction now along this inclined surface we will show the motion which is parallel to the inclined surface so this is the motion of the wedge now this wedge is in contact with block so block will move towards the right hand side so we will show here the motion of the block now we will draw the free body diagram for the wedge as well as block now for this wedge if we observe this inclined surface is in contact with the fixed surface now we will give here the suffix 1 to show the forces related to this then this vertical surface of wedge is in contact with the block surface so we will give here the suffix 2 to show the forces for the sur surface in contact now this block is in contact with horizontal fixed surface and we will show here the forces with the help of suffix number 3 now how to show the forces related to this which is the wedge is in contact with inclined surface as the wedge will move in the downward directional frictional force will be in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction so for this wedge surface we have to show frictional force f1 in the upward direction now this vertical surface also the having the frictional force which is in the opposite direction of the motion of the wedge that is in the upward direction now this time we have to give the suffix 2 that is f2 now we have to show normal reaction so normal reaction is always perpendicular to the surface of contact so for this inclined surface we will show with perpendicular line normal reaction n1 and for this vertical surface we have to show with horizontal line normal reaction n2 now p is the applied force on the wedge which we have to find out now if we observe f2 n2 and p are the horizontal forces as well as vertical forces so we will resolve this f1 and n1 so we will resolve these two forces into horizontal component and vertical component so here is the horizontal component and this is the vertical component now if we observe this f1 is parallel to the inclined surface and it is making angle of 75 degree with horizontal so how we can define this so here we have to show angle equal to 75 degree so its a value is f1 cos of 75 and for this vertical component it is f1 sin of 75 now we will resolve n1 into two component that is horizontal component as well as vertical component so we will resolve here so i will extend this n1 now if we observe for this inclined inclined surface this n1 is perpendicular and for this horizontal line this vertical line is perpendicular so the point of intersection for these two perpendicular line also making the same angle 75 degree so how we can define this vertical component n1 sin of 75 so the n1 cos of 75 because it is nearby to the angle of 75 now this component is away from the angle 
So here n1 sin of 75. Now we will move for the block. Now for block weight is 99.9 Newton. So we know that weight always acts in vertically downward direction passing through the center. So we will show here uh, because we have to show here the forces. So this weight is equal to 99.9. Now there is one force which acts in horizontal direction towards the left hand side. So we have to show as it is. It is 2.49 Newton. Now for the block this surface is in contact with which? Now how to decide the frictional force? For which frictional force is in the upward direction? Now for the block surface we have to show frictional force in opposite direction but magnitude will be same. So we will show here frictional force in the downward direction that is F2 magnitude is same but direction is opposite. Now we have to show N2. So N2 also we have to show in opposite direction that is towards the block. Now we will move for the lower surface which is in contact. Now motion of the block is towards right hand side. So frictional force we will show towards the left hand side and this time we have to use suffix 3 F3 and now we will show normal reaction which is in the upward direction and it is N3 in question angle of limiting friction is given 15 degree so we can find out the coefficient of friction mu and that is equal to tan of this angle that is tan of 15 degree and which is equal to 0 0.268 now we will use this value of mu. So what is the relation in between the frictional force and normal reaction? So we know that F is F by N. That is the ratio of frictional force by normal reaction is equal to mu. Now if we observe here is the F1 as well as N1 or F2 as well as N2. So this angle of friction is given for the all contact surfaces. So we can say that F1 is equal to mu N1, F2 is equal to mu N2 or here is F3 and N3 that is F3 is equal to mu N3. So whenever we find out N1 or N2 or N3 value then we can easily find out the F1, F2 and F3 value. We have to find out the applied force P which is related to which. Now if we observe here is F2 and N2 which is unknown and it is also related to the block. That is the same forces but direction is opposite. Now we will first find out the value of F2 as well as N2. Now we will solve the equilibrium for the block. So we will consider the equilibrium for the block and then summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0 and summation of all all horizontal forces is equal to 0. Now which are the vertical forces? So here is F2. So we will consider here the positive sign plus F2 plus 99.9 minus N3 is equal to 0. Now instead of F2 we will write mu into N2 that is 0 0.268 N2 minus N3 is equal to minus 99.9 which is the equation number 1. Now we will move for the second summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. Now this time we will consider minus N2 plus F3 plus 2.49 is equal to 0. Now we will again simplify this. Instead of F3 we will write mu into N3. That is minus N2 plus 0 0.268 N3 is equal to minus 2.49 which is the equation number 2. Now we have to find out the value of N2. So we have to cancel this N3. So how to cancel? So in equation number 2 coefficient is 0 0.268. And here for N3 coefficient of 1. So we will multiply for this equation number 1 with 0 0.268. So for this whole equation we will multiply 0 0.268. Then 0 0.268 into 0 0.268 that is 0 0.071 N2 minus 0 0.268 N3 is equal to 
here minus 26.8 equation number 3 now if we observe here the coefficient of n3 is same and here there is the plus sign and here there is the minus sign so when we add these two equations then this getting cancelled so what will be the new equation so here n2 we will take as a common term here minus 1 plus 0.071 n2 is equal to minus 2.49 minus 26.8 so we can find out this n2 it is 27.34 newton now from this we can also calculate f2 where f2 is equal to 0.268 into 27.34 newton now we will move for the equilibrium of the wedge summation of all vertical forces is equal to zero so we will consider minus p plus here is n1 cos of 75 plus f1 sine of 75 plus f2 is equal to 0. Now we will take here p to the right hand side. So which is therefore p is equal to cos of 75 that is 0 0.25 n1 plus f1 sine of 75. So f1 is equal to mu into n1 that is 0 0.268 n1. So sine of 75 into 0 0.268 that is 0 0.25 n1 plus f2. So what is the value of f2? That is mu into n2 that is 7.32. Therefore p is equal to 0 0.5 n1 plus 7.32. So this is the equation number 1. Now we have to find out n1. So we will consider summation of all horizontal forces is equal to 0. So here forces are N2 plus F1 cos of 75 minus N1 sin of 75 is equal to 0. Now for this N2 we have calculated values 27.34 F1 is mu into N1 that is cos of 75 into 0.268 into n1 minus sine of 75 n1 that is 0 0.96 n1 is equal to 0. So we will take the n1 as a common term and we will find out the value of n1 30.71 newton. Now the value of n1 we will put in the equation number 1. So when we put we will get the value of p 22.67 newton. 